What's up, everyone? It's the People's Fit Coach, Sincere Hogan. Another powerful workout for you. This is a great way to start off your week. And it's just a little gangster, too. We're doing this on a Monday. So, I tell you what, a lot of times, like I say, Monday is always January 1st for everybody. 52 times a year, it's always the first day of January. Why? Because whatever you did over the weekend, come Monday, you're like, why did I do that? Why did I eat all those hot wings? Why did I have all that ice cream? You're feeling guilty, so you try to kill it on Monday. You know what? I, wish, I want you to kill it every day of the week, okay? But this is how we killed it today. So one of the first things we're going to do, we're going to actually use a couple toys here. And we're going to use so that you've probably seen in your department stores, a perfect push-up. Yeah, even Sincere uses a perfect push-up. But it's the way I use a perfect push-up that separates my clients and myself from all the wannabes out there, okay? So, same thing we're going to use is a TNT cable from Lifeline. So, basically, this has adjustable straps on it according to your strength. You know, you can put three different bands on here. The colors indicate pretty much how much resistance you get. So it's kind of like those other big, expensive machines that you see on late night infomercials when people say size doesn't matter and all that crap. Don't spend thousands of dollars on there. You can get one of these, get the same effect. And you have more freedom and you can actually take this everywhere with you. Unlike that big, giant machine that's gonna cost you all that money that you're probably gonna end up using as a coat rack anyway. All right? And the third thing we're gonna do is a nice body weight exercise from, from the Middle East, not the Middle East. We are the Middle East, kind of, sort of. I'm geographically challenged today because I'm a little loopy. But anyway, we're going to use a Hindu squat over here on this station. So you got three stations. Think about these three stations, you're going to hit all three of these with no rest in between for my moderate to advanced people. If you're just beginning, you're going to take about a minute break in between each station. We're going to perform every station for one minute, okay? And then we got a super, super duper retarded special, I know retarded is not a PC word to use, um, mentally challenged, sincere style, advanced style that we're going to do. So I'm going to start off with the beginner to moderate version with my man Russell right here. So as we go Gonzo style, Blair Witch Project style, oh, whoa, oh, oh, okay. I know I just pissed a lot of people off who watch my videos like, dude, you need to get some, you need to get a tripod and some lighting. And you know what? Spike Lee, Spike Jones, beat it with all that. You know, we're gorillas, we're gangsters, we don't care about all that. It's all about the exercise. So the first thing Russell's going to do, he's going to do a push-up with a knee tuck. So therefore, he's going to be working not only his chest, his shoulders, but he's going to be working his upper back just for the depth of the, uh, the perfect push-up, being that it is raised off the ground. And also, he's going to be working his abdominals by bringing his knee under his chest. Now, one thing I want you to notice right here, the reason why I like the perfect push-up, especially with people beginning, is the fact that it really takes some of the pressure off their wrist. All right, see how Russell's wrists are lined up? Well, this is how things should be if you were doing them on the ground with your elbows tucked back. But seeing that you're on a perfect push-up, it really helps you save your wrist. So you'll learn how to keep those wrists straight. So he's straight from the fist, forearm, well, the wrist to the forearm, on up, and elbows unlocked. And he's sitting up here shaking because he's like, dude, can I get started, please? But I'm actually making him do a plank. He doesn't know that because I'm a sneaky little bastard like that. All right, here we go. So here we go. Russell's going to pull down. He pulls himself down, he doesn't drop. He holds it so he can stretch out those chest muscles and he explodes up and brings that knee under the chest, kicks back. So now here it goes in four, hit it Russ. Pull down, pull, pull down, pull. Now one thing you can do while you're doing these, you can bring your knee right under your chest on the same side to the same arm or you can bring it over to the opposite side. So bring that knee across the chest Right there for even more ab work. Good. And stop. So next thing Russell will do, he would go right over to this next station and perform swimmers with the TNT cable. Now swimmers work your upper back, they work your abs, they work your hips, they work your quads. And they also get your cardio racing. So one thing he's going to do with this, he's going to lead with his hips and his hands are going to follow his hips. So he goes, pull back. Right there. Right now he's curling his abs up. Go. And he stretches his arms out on the ascend. Every time he comes up, his chest is facing the door attachment that comes along with the TNT cables. All right, but he also leads with his hips. Now, what he's not going to do is do it with his legs straight. Do it with your legs straight, Russ, and just bend over. With my legs straight? Yeah, do it wrong. <laughs> see this? Is, see what happened? He lost his balance. Do it again. That's so. Do another one wrong. See this? He's straining too much. Now lean back with it. Try to lean. See he see he loses it. So you, what you're going to do, you're going to plant your weight into your heels. Do it right one this time. Do it correct. See, all the weight goes into his heels. He does not raise his heels. He leads with his hips, and he controls the band going back. This time, don't control the band. Let it yank you this time. Go back. You don't want that to happen. See what happens? He loses control. So that's how you do that. Stop. 
And now he goes over to the next station where he performs a Hindu squat. So with the Hindu squat, if you notice his heels come up as he goes down, his chest faces forward the entire time. He does not look down. Look, look down, Russell, see what happens. See, he loses his balance. See, look at his heels. Do it again. See, he's losing his balance like that. Now, keep your chest up. Now, most people tell you, you can't do that. You're going to hurt your knees. No, the fact is, he's leading with his hips. His hips are the first thing to go back. He's raising up on the ball of his foot, not his toes. And he's keeping his chest up. So therefore, this is not putting pressure on his knees. What it's doing, besides burning his thighs right now, what it's doing is really helping the joints in the knees and help them get stronger and helping those tendons and ligaments out. All right, cool. So that right there works the abdominals. It also works the quads, pretty much all the lower extremities, and it works your back as you pull in like you're doing a row. You always want to pull in right here. You don't want to just swing out, all right? Same thing with the swimmers. You don't want to sit there and swing out on the swimmers. You want to come close to your body. A more advanced version of the swimmers is bring your legs close, you know. But if, you're, if you have some flexibility issues and you're just not getting your shrimp up, go ahead and get your feet about hip-width apart, turn your feet out at a 45-degree angle, and then do the swimming, but still keep your arms close to your body, okay? Now I'm gonna show you an advanced version of all three of these exercises. So, these are a lot more dynamic, okay? So, one thing is I'm gonna do with this, with the palm push-up, and the knee tuck, I'm actually gonna add some elements that are similar to the burpee. So I start right here, and I'm gonna straighten my wrist, I'm gonna kick back, slow descend, so I can stretch and use every muscle fiber. He's pull up, pull, Ease down slowly, hold, pull, ease down slowly, explode up, pull, ease down, pull, ease, pull, ease, explode up, boom, okay? So that's a more advanced version of doing that, okay? Now, an advanced version of doing this, doing the swimmers with the TNT cable, I'm gonna have an explosive jump to it. This is very advanced. You must have control of every body part. You can't let anything rest on your body doing this. Or you might end up going through a door, but that won't happen, all right? So basically, instead of just going here, and then coming up, I'm gonna jump. Peace.